things that we did today was to look back on how Parliament reflected on uh, the Gadabach movement at the beginning, then the war, um, and, uh, and everything that the, that the war entailed. And we note, sadly, in fact, that uh, in the meantime, the contributions, the willingness to contribute, both politically and very concretely, uh, to a solution of, uh, uh, of the Karabakh uh, uh, conflict and troubles and miseries from the side of the European Union uh, has, not, has not increased. Students from, uh, from uh, Nagorno-Karabakh are prohibited to come to Europe uh, in order to, to study. Uh, they are prohibited by, by the uh, theory uh, pressure on, on different countries. I think that's uh, unacceptable, uh, to be frank, because uh, um, young students should not be suffering from, from uh, political conflict uh, in that way. We need to understand why Azerbaijan has um, taken a position where it has blocked seemingly common sense proposals about improving people's lives. And, and we need to understand that this is part of a view of Azerbaijan uh, regarding the negotiations where in order to allow for these things to take place, like the mining or humanitarian flights or other sort of uh, aspects, um, there needs to be also concessions on the other side. And so putting pressure on Armenia and Karabakh by not allowing any sort of international presence or any sort of humanitarian uh, action on the ground is part of the strategy to put pressure on Armenia to concede. If they want sincerely to achieve this goal, they must uh, uh, impose on Azerbaijan to accept the uh, right of self-determination for the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, it's the only way, otherwise uh, we will have continue uh, a conflict between the people of uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, Artsakh and uh, the Azeris who are preparing themselves in order to capture the, the area. But I believe that the universal uh, right of self-determination should not be deprived from the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. If the European Union doesn't have a, a tool, doesn't have an incentive like it has in the case of Serbia, in the case of Kosovo, then the European Union cannot do much. There are these things like demining, confidence building measures, yes, and let, let the EU pay for that and things like that. But as a political, as a political instrument, I think the EU will have to work through France, through Germany, in the Minsk group. В этих, в этих э, границ, и эта республика существовала. И уже, э, я думаю, тогда отпадут очень много вопросов, когда Карабах получит свое, э, свое признание. А я, э, а я останусь до конца, чтобы приблизить этот день. Поддерживать эти результаты сталинской национальной политики, когда Сталин взял Нагорный Карабах и насильственно его э, подарил Азербайджану. I would be very glad, and I suppose that the colleagues that were here, and there were quite many today, uh, like, they were, like they were yesterday, uh, would be glad if we wanted to and could contribute more uh, to raising awareness about uh, this totally illogical and unnatural situation that in the 21st century, uh, in a strategically vital and important part of the world close to Europe, uh, we have a simmering conflict still on that, uh, uh, that might very well erupt into something bigger uh, if nothing is done to, um, to make it a bait.